this out lactate as being a fantastic uh, substitute for actual milk and that or soy milk, although lactate is ten times better, I will say. It's been very good for my stomach. Jamie's blog. <sighs> so today has just been a bit of a fanatic and wild day. A good day into Webians. Like I said, it's just been a oh kind of day here tonight. I don't walk. Uh, let's just say that because I'm doing the double today, it's been quite busy. But to make it more fun, we had a bit of a situation where we had a, a little mouse encounter. That was fun. Us as well, just dealing with a couple of stuff, mainly with online and oh, just all right. Here's a situation. A couple of posts that come on with Logo on Facebook these days are usually of those in which there are two sides. There are ones that are serious type. There's like transgender in history, uh, you know, this, that, or the other. I'm trying to think stories just to help out, you know, gay bashing is a wrong, you know. Lesbians have been turned out by this and that and the other, but then you get stories in which Kind of look stupid where it's like hey look at this armpit fetish with one of the Jonas brothers Or ooh, look all the gay you know mr. Gay European contestants are now and look at all these sexy hunks you can die for and I look at them and I think Really look at this nice gay hunk who is an athlete. Is he gonna be the next gay hero for athletes and for sports? And I'm like come the frick on and not every guy that has You know a six-pack and everything should be Thrown out there To be like oh look he is handsome. He's hot and he's part of this this will make your mouth water and I'm like Next, I put a comment on the Gay European contest one for the contestants, and I did accidentally word it as body shaming. And uh, people think, why are you calling it body shaming? That's not body shame whatsoever. That's just muscle and fitness. So I said it's miswording, and here's why. I don't mean the body shaming it as in you know they're shaming their bodies like oh look at him, he's so fit and stuff. Uh, but it's more of they're flaunting these guys with all these six packs and muscles and stuff with gorgeous faces and I'm thinking they're giving off the wrong image for the gay community they're trying to show that all gay guys that you will see has cute faces muscles, six packs, tight asses, big schlongs and it's like oh my god I'm so good you know what screw it look at it you look at this now do you think something like this would get on to Mr. Gay Europe contest or anything like that? Hell no. It wouldn't. Absolutely wouldn't. I'm not perfect. I'm not sexy. I'm not cute. I'm not fit. You know? I'm just a medium average side slouch. You know, and everyone thinks now that every gay guy wants to go with the six pack, gorgeous face, burly smiles, tight ass, big knobs. Although, to be honest, the only knobs I see are the knobheads themselves who think that. Because you look at them, and yeah, maybe you could find that 1% on these cute guys in which could be non-veiny and could have a decent personality that they could be funny and lovely and cute and he's just a nice guy to be around. And to be honest, I'm saying this now, that's why I fell in love with Chris. You know, I... I'm not the type that's like, I'll go for a guy who is this, 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 he's got a big body and he's cute and fit and tight abs and everything like that. No, I'm not the person that looks at the cover of the book and think, all right, I'll buy it. I'm the person that looks at the pages, that goes in and reads the book. Because like I said, with those particular guys who are the fit types, yeah, most of them could end up to be total vain knobheads, almost like the Gastons of the gay community, except, you know, sometimes with less singing voices. For me, I like to read the book. I like to see what the personality is like. Are they kind? What are their interests? You know, do they make me laugh? 
Are they there for me? Are they sweet? Are they cuddly? You know what I mean? That was Chris. He was kind. He was there for me. Even on days in which I've been quite depressed and down, he has been there for me. And I love him to bits. He's been so sweet. He's been so caring. Even when I was in hospital, he was there for me. That is a man. And I doubt Logo's going to be watching this and stuff. I doubt they do. But honestly, that is a man right there. Not your, let's put these sexy hunks onto a finding Prince Charming version. You know, like the Bachelorette, but for gay people. Because they all got six packs and abs and look cute and stuff. Or Fire Island, where it's all about rock and roll parties, sex, abs, and sex in us. No. Absolutely not. We want proper, decent, honest, kind gay guys in this community. Look to people like my husband. He is such a sweetheart, and I love him to bits. You know, I don't care. You know what he looks like. You know, I love him to bits because he's kind, he's caring, he's there for me, and I am there for him. That's a man right there, guys. That is what being a true gay guy is. Not the muscles. Not the good looks, but the kindness, the respect that you show to others, and still being proud to be who you are. And that was absolutely the corniest thing I've ever said, but it's honestly true. Anyway, I've got a lot of work to do, so fun! So I'm gonna call it at night. I home, had food, and I just wanna crash on the bed, crash in bed, go to sleep. And just sleep. Uh, last two days of done, so I've done 30 hours of work, so that's good so far, with more to do. So, until then, guys, thank you for watching today's video. Hopefully, you've enjoyed. And if you have, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I shall see you tomorrow for a brand spanking new day, and hopefully, it'll be a little bit better than the rest. So, until then, take it easy, guys. Master.